Hi, this is Brian Forster, and this is an exploration of the ancient site of Baalbek in Lebanon, filmed in April of 2019. Now, Baalbek was built over three different time periods. There was a medieval period where it was made into a fort to fight off the Crusaders should they arrive. Before that is the Roman period and primarily the first construction period we'll see is much, much older megalithic construction. So we're going through this underground passageway and this is the one of the principal Roman period areas of Baalbek. You can see the standard Roman iconography, the uh, columns made of several sections. So this is very typical of how the Romans built. But now, this is Nick, and Nick is observing a large single column of granite. Badly broken, of course, but what we can see is the surface is so smooth that it's quite clear that this and other granite pillars that we're going to see were turned on lathes. Now we're going up the reconstructed staircase and here again we see more granite pillars and you can tell that originally they were one piece and at some period of time almost all of them were badly smashed and damaged. But again you see the surface is highly polished and again they had to have been turned on lathes as hard as that is to believe. Now we're going past other broken pieces. Again, the surface is perfectly smooth and round. And there you see the five holes where the chuck of the lathe locked into the giant stone pillar. Here again are more broken pieces. There's some Roman uh, carving. And now more of these giant granite pillars that obviously have been raised back up in modern times. And there you see the, uh, the hole in the center, which would be the other end of where the pillar locked into the lathe. Now fortunately, these ones are quite intact, or at least one of them is almost perfectly intact. As you can see, one giant piece, approximately 20 feet tall, or about 6 meters. And this is one of the curious aspects of the Baalbek site. You'll see that uh, I previously did a video about the quarry at Baalbek. That is in the description below. Now there's Diane, who's one of our guests, and we're inspecting one of the oldest parts of Baalbek. Again, look at the size of the stones involved. And here we can even see the tool marks. To me, they look like machine marks rather than hand tool marks. So this is the epicenter of ancient Baalbek. And you see how closely the stones fit together, just a hairline crack. And now we're inside the Baalbek complex even deeper and I'm descending and I'm going to walk on some stones that weigh approximately 800 tons a piece. And that is a conservative estimate. So here I am walking along one of them. And then coming down a staircase, look at the giant block on the left hand side, again weighing approximately 800 tons. And this is me approaching it once again. You see the sense of scale as compared to the smaller ones on top, which are of the Roman time period. And here, the foundation of the Temple of Jupiter area. And once again, the 800 ton blocks are in appearance. This is walking along uh, uh, on the side of the 800 ton blocks. And 
And here we're going to see the incredible fit. Barely a hairline crack separating one 800 ton block from the next. And then at the Temple of Bacchus, which is next door, once again the huge sense of scale of the stones. Once again, these large stones are somewhere in the nature of 500 to 800 tons apiece. There you see the incredible precision of the fit. Barely a hairline crack, either vertical or horizontal. Once again, the incredible precision of the original megalithic construction. If you watch the video about the quarry, you'll see that there's the 1,200 ton stone of the, pregnant, stone of the pregnant woman and also a 1,600 ton one that has just recently been fully excavated. Now we're up inside the Temple of Bacchus and again here you can see the Roman period construction and the Roman iconography and symbolic carving. and the columns being made of several pieces of stone, in this case limestone. But then walking on the outside perimeter of the Temple of Bacchus, look once again at the size of the stones on the left and also the size of the columns. Absolutely monstrous megalithic construction. So this is likely from the first time period. This is what the Romans would have found when they showed up approximately 2,000 years ago. And here, probably megal a megalithic corner. And this is the newly opened area, which I was not allowed to see on a previous visit. But in this case, we were able to see everything at Baalbek, the megalithic, the Roman, and the later Crusader time period constructions. Megalithic being the finest. Here's the Roman and probably Crusader time period work on top. Recycling of the stone. This is likely from the Roman period once again. You can see stones in the nature of a few tons. But then around the corner, we once again encounter the megalithic construction several stones weighing 800 tons apiece and at least I would say 200 feet long this wall itself. So here is Nick once again showing a sense of scale. A six foot tall man as compared to an 800 ton stone block. And then as we walk along the wall there we have Yusuf Awiyan on the right and other guests of ours on the left hand side mainly of course for sense of scale notice that the giant 800 ton blocks are actually on smaller ones which is quite curious <clears throat> but also the darkening of the surfaces indicates great antiquity now there's a hole on the left hand side that was probably done during the roman time period a type of repair done to the megalithic construction that shows signs of uh, cataclysmic damage. And now here's Julian showing the incredible precision of the megalithic construction. Stone fitting right next to stone. And now we're going to walk down to the end of it and you're going to see what's called the Trilithon. This massive corner is, of course, megalithic time period on top. The lighter and smaller stones are from the Roman time period. And we're going to now get a glimpse at the Trilithon, which is a series of three stones right next to one another, weighing approximately 1,000 tons apiece. So there we see one, two of the Trilithon stones. And here in greater detail, the Roman construction on top. And here is one of the 1,000 ton Trilithon stones 
and then the second one. The third one, unfortunately, is partially obscured by repair being done on the right, as you can see. But some of the largest stones ever quarried on the planet are located here at Baalbek. Here, once again, are two of the giant 1,000-ton Trilithon stones. Now we're back at the corner, and we're going to re-inspect the 800-ton blocks of this monstrous wall. And again, walking right up next to the wall so you can get the sense of scale. Unfortunately, there isn't another person in here for the proper uh, proportions of scale, but you've already seen that this is obviously a very, very, very ancient megalithic construction, and I believe that it is pre-cataclysmic, as in being 12,000 plus years old, much like uh, we see at sites in Egypt and also in Peru and Bolivia.